Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm an instructional designer at Sumo Logic. To set up tracing and collect the trace data of the transactions on an app, we'll need to auto instrument the app and connect it to the Open Telemetry Collector and then to Trace Source of the Host Collector in Sumo. These last two steps are automatically configured by Sumo if we use the Helm chart for Kubernetes. In this video, I'll walk through the auto instrumentation process of a Java app using OpenTelemetry for Kubernetes. I'll also demonstrate how to set up trace collections for the Java app in the Kubernetes environment and trace the transactions in Sumo Logic. OpenTelemetry provides a wide range of ready to use components to get us started with distributed tracing. Before instrumenting a Java app with OpenTelemetry, Make sure the Java app is developed in Java 8 or a newer version. Also, we'll need to have several prerequisites ready, as shown here on the screen. Note that in order to create a Kubernetes collection in Sumo Logic, my role requires Sumo admin privileges. Let's take a look at the steps to instrument a Java app and then deploy it. To begin with, I'll set up the Sumo Logic collection for Kubernetes. Next, Download the Java agent for the OpenTelemetry Java instrumentation in .jar format. Add the OpenTelemetry Java agent.jar file to the Docker image of the Java application. Configure OpenTelemetry instrumentation by updating the application for Kubernetes deployment. Deploy the application to Kubernetes, and then search for the traces of the Java app in Sumo Logic. For this demo, I'll use a simple Java app called Spring Pet Clinic. I'll auto-instrument the app with OpenTelemetry, connect it to Sumo's hosted collector, and use my AWS credentials to deploy it on Amazon EKS. Further, I'll show the transaction traces of the app in Sumo. I'll now log in to Kubernetes and begin the auto-instrumentation. First, I'll set up the collector and source for Kubernetes. To do so, I'll use the Kubernetes Collection Helm chart as it automatically sets up the collector and source for Kubernetes in Sumo Logic. Here's the Helm upgrade command. The most up-to-date command and Helm chart is available in the Sumo Logic documentation. Before using the Helm upgrade command, I must generate my Sumo Access ID and Sumo Access key and keep them handy. If you need help creating the Access ID and Access key, Please refer to the Managing Access Key How-To video on the Sumo Logic YouTube channel. Now that I have all the required details, I'll use the appropriate values in the Helm upgrade command and execute the command in a terminal window. Here, I've used the release name collection and the namespace Sumo Logic. Next, I'll download a Java agent to distribute it to each of the service hosts or containers as the Java Virtual Machine, JVM, will need to access it. To download the Java agent, I'll search for and open the Java OpenTelemetry auto instrumentation page in Sumo's documentation. Scroll down to the installation section where you'll find the link to download the Java agent. I'll click the link and download the OpenTelemetry Java agent.jar file in the local drive. Next, I'll find the folder where the .jar file is downloaded and copy the address link. I'll use this in the next step. The next step is to add OpenTelemetry Java agent.jar to the Java application Docker image. Remember, the app must be developed in Java 8 or a newer version. For this demo, I'll create the Java app Docker image based on the Spring Pet Clinic application. The link to download the Docker file is provided in the description of this video. The Docker file is where the OpenTelemetry Java agent jar file will be added to. Here's how I've added the OpenTelemetry Java agent.jar file to the Spring Pet Clinic Docker image, assuming that the auto instrumentation jar is in the slash agent directory. After that, I need to build a new Docker image and publish it in a repository accessible by a Kubernetes cluster. If you're not familiar with the Docker image building process, please refer to the Build Your Java Image Guide or take a ready to use image with Java auto instrumentation already bundled from the public ECR AWS Sumo Logic Open Telemetry Pet Clinic link. Now I'll update the Java Virtual Machine configuration so that I can use the environment variables. 
To override these variables and make them available to JVM, I'll open the corresponding .yaml file in a text editor. Note that a link to download the .yaml template for the Spring Pet Clinic app is given in the description of this video. Here, I'll update the path of the .jar file in Java Tool Options with the OpenTelemetry Java Agent path where the .jar file was downloaded in Step 2. I'll update the value of OTEL Traces Exporter to OTLP and the OTEL Exporter OTLP Traces Protocol value to HTTP slash protobuf. Because the Java app instrumentation has been configured to use OTLP Exporter with HTTP slash protobuf protocol, the port and the path are set to the corresponding collector receiver, which is OTLP HTTP. Note that the endpoint URL is based on the release name, chart name, and the namespace. So the format of the endpoint URL is HTTP release name, chart name, OTEL col, namespace, colon, port, slash, path. Recall that in step one, where we use the helm upgrade command, the release name we used is collection, and the namespace is sumo logic. Chart wasn't set, so by default it's set to Sumo Logic. So the endpoint URL for our app will be the OTLP HTTP shown here. I'll update the OTEL exporter OTLP traces endpoint to the URL. Please refer to the description given in the pointing tracing clients to the collector section of the documentation for the appropriate endpoint URL of your installation. And finally, I'll update the OTEL service name with the service name and OTEL resource attributes with the application name. For this demo, I'm going to set OTEL service name to pet clinic service and OTEL resource attributes to application equals pet clinic. Note the service name and application name here. I'll be able to search the traces in Sumo Logic with the service name. Sumo Logic also has a service map feature where the application name becomes instrumental. Now, I'll save the file and exit the editor. The .yaml file is ready to be deployed on Kubernetes. To deploy the Java app to Kubernetes, on the terminal, I'll execute the kubectl command. In this case, the command is kubectl apply f openTelemetryPetClinic.yaml. At this point, it might give an error if you're not logged into the Kubernetes cluster. Log into Kubernetes and deploy the app with the kubectl command in the terminal window. Once the Java app is deployed, access it to generate some transactions on the app. Now let's search for the transaction traces of the app in Sumo Logic. To search for the traces in Sumo Logic, I'll log in to the Sumo UI and then click plus new traces. I can search traces by service name, collector name, or source name. When I execute the query, I can see relevant traces on the screen. Let's quickly recall the steps we covered in this video. I started with setting up a Sumo Logic Kubernetes collection. Then I downloaded the Java agent for the OpenTelemetry Java instrumentation in .jar format. Then I created a Docker image and added OpenTelemetry Java agent.jar to the Docker image of the Java application. Next, I configured the OpenTelemetry instrumentation by updating the application for Kubernetes deployment. Finally, I deployed the application to Kubernetes. And then, I searched for and viewed the transaction traces of the app in Sumo Logic. I hope this video helps you understand the process to auto-instrument a Java app with OpenTelemetry to deploy on Kubernetes and to trace the transactions in Sumo Logic. Thank you for joining.